tonight. Let us hasten, let us helicopter off and get to our message and teaching. Faithful attendance. I was given a topic on faithful attendance. And what's lacking in the faithful attendance? And I think I was asked to look in Acts chapter 2. And I will read just a few verses for reference. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them clothing tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon each of them. The word of God for the people of God. Now we had some faithful attendees. And we have some non-faithful attendees for the body of Christ. We will put them in categories as believers and unbelievers. And I'll add a third category, some believers. Because after we had a pandemic pass over our country, which was the COVID-19. We start a virtual church setting. The pandemic has gone. Some say it's still here, but I, we the people of God never looked at that because Psalms 91 say nothing should come nigh our dwelling. So then we took advantage of the pandemic. And we find ourselves worshiping at our, what's that church? I should give that a name. Bedroom, bedside or bedroom assemblies of some believers. And that is located in your home. You turn left and it'll be the first door on the right. And you would be, you would find some believers sitting, lying, and held, holding their hand device or watching it there. But the Bible and scripture tells us not to forsake the assembling of the saints. So we need to get over that pandemic because God is bigger than that pandemic. That has come and assumed to be gone. God is the same yesterday, was here yesterday, same today, is here today, and forever. But what's so important about attendance? Attendance is a lot about content, commitment, and interest. A clear way of dis displaying your concern for and your, con your support of the church, of your membership, is through faithful attendance. Faithful attendance is consistent attendance. That is inter- twined with a steadfast desire to be in the company of other Christians while we worship and fellowship and do our services and witnesses. As a matter of fact, one of the scripture 
we asked ourselves to look at and we look forward to is written down in Hebrews 10 and 25 which states do not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing and we have a prime example of that right here at St. John's where some give up the meeting together bishop said we have two services i'm gonna attend one bishop didn't say attend one or choose one bishop said we have two services let us prove ourselves faithful there's no option there but i come into eight i'm, I'm not coming to 11 or if i come to 11 i'm not coming to eight slack in your eye we must be in attendance together attendance is a critical element in the strength and unity of the church as well as a fun fundamental attribute of our faith and witness every christian that has a concern for the household of faith and who wants to prepare him or herself to serve the Lord better will have a strong desire to be found in the Lord's house. And every day is a day of thanksgiving we say this is the day the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it so let us have that desire to find ourselves in the lord's house on the lord's day now when we say on the lord's day we put a day a particular day that's our worship day we baptist we worship on sundays we have midweek service, Bible studies, prayer meetings, other days. But our corporate worship day is Sunday. I call that my Sabbath day. That's my Sabbath day. Yeah. So the day whom you choose to keep holy, you keep that holy. We have some other days over there. We, we, we dare not cross step it. But we know the embarrassing the embarrassment and the insult that our heavenly father put to some who speaks of the sabbath when we know the sabbath was not made for man but man for the sabbath every christian that has a concern for the host whole of faith should recognize their sabbath day you know when i first give my life not give it to the lord but when i first when I gone back to the fence and took my harp from off the fence. Ah, uh, I said, cell phone came out in them days. I never answer my phone on a Sunday. And I had a encounter with Batelco. Had me dated for some Sundays. And I won that battle. Because I never, man, I was so fearful with God and so sentence and committed to god my cell phones to be off on sundays and i told them that and they'd gone through the record and they found that so i was credited back some funds you know and that's what god could do you know and this is something i inform our congregations from time to time when we speak about Sunday and I hear some murmuring about you being tired and you being not wanting to sit in for two hours and the service too long on a Sunday and I'm going to emphasize on Sunday because that's our Sabbath as Baptists 
And when I hear these, I look to see who it's coming from. And sometimes it concerns me. I wouldn't say it bothers me because it will sound as though I'm doing some injustice. So it concerns me when I hear some of our leaders say it is too long to be in the house of the Lord when you are a believer. But we have stories where we say uh, work you, you go there sniffing with a little flu or cold and you go there with some limp or some bandages to work dragging yes Rob, eight hours you know sometimes you stay back longer with the strength that god has provided for you you know and and it's like hard bothering when 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 you're here and you see these worldly things come up about the host of God being in too long. Because one time I say, I will park my vehicle in the parking lot. I will catch a ride home and I will bring that home in after evening service. That's how committed I try to make myself to come in and gather in with the sinks. Yeah, I had no reason to go home. I don't, you know, I say, boy, I ain't going to practice working on no Sunday. I put Sunday, you know, for the Lord. And everything starts to step in when we find excuse. Like the cell phones come in abundance. Everybody have it. So there we go with our handheld device. So when we have that, in our hands everything is on that even the bible and sometimes you look for the bible some other things pop up i say oh lord my god you know but i feel as though i don't be responsible for that but i know only my phone sometimes to see that and hear those things sometimes you open up some things and some profanity comes and i say lord bless them lord you know but you may realize or you may not realize that every time you attend a church service your presence encourage others someone is watching at least it should like by no means encourage you And perhaps if someone who emulates you or who looks up to you doesn't see you, it may discourage them. Because it bothers me sometimes when I'm off island and I can't get to church. Because I know somebody looking and we are small in numbers. So when one body is missing, that person is missing. No doubt about it. We can say you are not to church today. So it's good for us to set a good example. Even for the children who says now that church is a bit boring. You know, all of us should make a diligent effort to be present at the appointed time when church is assembled. Why else is attendance important? First John 2 and 6 declares, Whoever claims to live in him, that's Jesus, must live as Jesus did. Christians are to follow the examples set for us by Jesus and imitate his walk amongst mankind and one example that jesus set was his example of being found in the synagogue on the sabbath day now he was there other times but 
the one example when he was found in the synagogue on the Sabbath day. Luke 4 and 16. This is the scripture and another scripture that we need to look at ourselves with. It tells us that it was Jesus commitment, his uh, what he was accustomed to. It was habitual. It was a practice for him to keep himself in the synagogue. And it will be more practical for us and customary for us as believers to be present in attendance in our home church. It is a routine, a standard, a habit, and customary way of doing things as it has to do with the weekly gathering of the people of same like faith, like what we're doing here today, being refilled, refilled, being rekindled until our Sabbath day come to overflow us. When we say our cup, run it over. I drink it from a saucer because my cup, run it over. So those ones who come on Sunday, our, our cup them to the brim. So why is we running over? They, they just want their cup and we drinking from our saucer. Somebody say amen. 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 You know? So things like the weekly worship and Bible study, which requires personal attendance. That we have to live by and uh, adapt to. And how these things be televised now. Who like television and, and to be seen should, should be in these things right now. Because I know our media team will have this on YouTube in short order. So uh, you all in Radio Line and our television viewers, you, you ought to have been here, you would have seen yourself, you know? But aim to serve God by attending church. Church is where we be filled with the Holy Spirit more than any other setting we can find ourselves in. The church, which is one foundation founded by God. The question was asked, whom do you say that I am? Some say Elias, some said the prophet. But God said, who do you say that I am? And Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus then replied, Flesh and blood did not reveal that to you. Okay? So, scriptures like that should intrigue us to be more concerned about attending church. I hear people often say, just the other night in a meeting, when they came to St. John's, they had to go upstairs for no other reason because downstairs was full. The Bible instructs believers to be in relationship with other believers. And this cannot be accompanied in absence. This cannot be by being absent. Phone calls ain't going to do. That's I hear from you. When you attend church, I see you. 
Can you call me? I hear from you. It's good to hear from some people. That's when you're off the island and away. But when you hear in the same country and continent, we should see each other by not forsaking the gathering of ourselves. You know? And even more so, if we do not attend church more often, that gives the enemy more time to attack and overcome. Because there's a song, Satan is busy, but God is real. So when we slack our ride, we have the tendency of giving room to the enemy. A consistent pattern of church attendance is for our own benefit as believers. The church house among church people is the place where we come together to encourage one another and gain strength. And it's for our good that God wants us in fellowship with other believers. We need each other to grow in faith and to remain in faith. And when we give up attending church or when we are not, we need each other to survive in the world. That it is why is the world is so hostile to our faith? Faithful attendance is the way we should be. Attend church regularly, my brothers and sisters. That's a fact. Our weekly schedule of other things to do, yeah, that's good. But don't neglect the gathering of the saints. It was to Jesus, and so it should be to us who are his followers. We should not neglect the assemblings of the saints. My brothers and sisters, we should fellowship in our local church. It is good for our emotional health and essential to our Christian commitment. We are to encourage one another. First Thessalonians 4 and 18 say, Comfort one another. Second Corinthians 1, 3 to 4, and bear one another's burden. Galatians 6 and 2, those who do not attend church regularly with fellow believers run the risk of failing in their Christian walk. Now, some of us with differ to say it because they say, I'm saved, I'm sanctified, I'm good. I go into church. I only have a day off. I go in here. But when you see you slack your eye and give way for the enemy to step in, that's when things happen. And God wants us to fellowship with him as well as we fellowship with other members of his family because we all are God's children. And faithful attendance is so important, very important to us as believers. Because we, we make a program here in the church, you know. And you would see one person calling this, singing that, doing the offertory, 
doing the welcome do so when we as a body of christ comes together we can lessen the load and share our program amongst each other so we need to attend and get involved in our church programs you may not realize it but every time you attend church your presence encourage someone and by the same token every time you miss you perhaps discourage someone okay so let us be mindful of our attendance in church and with us is our evangelist leader and in one of our meeting we was discussing about evangelizing and i think i said evangelizing and evangelism is not an option to believe us but there's still a title evangelist but we all are evangelists when you see somebody downtrodden we need to encourage them the Samaritan did and he was given the title the good Samaritan they say the Levi passed the prophet passed the priest passed but the Samaritan stopped so let us let no one take our position let us be that true imitator of Christ let us follow Christ let us lift up the name of Jesus let us keep the faith for without faith it is impossible to please God as I bring my message to a close I encourage I entreat that this weather seems cozy cold wet but to God be the glory we are here and next Wednesday we do this I say to you all, each one, bring one, so we can have our church attendance upticked by a few more members who would realize that neglecting the gathering of the saints is not an option. You must assemble yourself. Jesus was found in the synagogue. Amen.